All right, guys, so we are getting the head set up on the mill here to do some uh, CNC turning. So got the quill extended. I zeroed the uh, digital protractor out on the top of the vise. Um, the machine's pretty level, so this will get us fairly close, and then we can get out the indicator and uh, put a piece of ground rod in the spindle and uh, get it close. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just more or less a trial run to see what's possible. Um, I've seen this done once before. Someone using their mill as a CNC lathe. I'm not going to put a chuck in the spindle. I'm just going to use a, uh, a three quarter collet and I used an um, inch and a quarter 6061 aluminum, turned a three quarter slug on one end and uh, the other end for the geometry that we'll be turning is 1.1 inches. And I'll show that to you once we get a little closer here. This is a, as you can see, a Mitatoyo Pro 3600 digital protractor. Uh, it's quite accurate. I think I set this at zero, got the indicator out on it, and uh, it's a five tenths indicator, Mitatoyo. And I think I was only out maybe five tenths in three inches. They do make another model of this, it's the Pro 360. And there's knockoff brands too. Um, I don't know how accurate those ones are. I just got a screaming deal on this uh, on eBay. I think that'll be close enough to uh, put the ground rod in there. So this is the setup. You know, there's, I, I don't know the exact measurement, but there's uh, several inches from the the quill in the top of the vise so just gripping onto your tool holder is not uh, not so it's not sufficient height so I took a steel block and milled out a t-slot and I mean it, it works so I'm kind of poor boy in it. I don't have a tripod for my... Uh, I'm, I shoot all these videos with my Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And I right now I have it clamped to my Noga indicator holder. And it, it, it's pretty nice to be able to articulate the camera any which way you need. But uh, it does hinder my video capabilities a little bit. So I'm, I'm looking for a camera. And... A tripod we'll see how that goes maybe I can build a special clamp or something to hold you know kind of the same rink ink thing I got going on with this um, but here is a Unbraco three-quarter inch dowel pin and that's what we'll use to to indicate all right so here is uh, we're gonna do a jogging pass to turn this diameter, um, I already touched off the front and zeroed, so we'll clean this up and then punch in the numbers so we can run the program.
That looks pretty good. So we'll uh, jog positive. Come down to Z. Zero. Alright, so now we're back at zero, I'll mic that, and then uh, we'll run the program. I ended up cycling the power on the drives and that, that got it back working. The drives were, like I said, the, the drives were having trouble, uh, the, namely the X drive, and I don't know what causes that. Um, it happens every once in a while and it's a real bummer, it can scrap apart in a hurry. Uh, or crash hard so we lucked out and it didn't really cause any problems um, anyway that looks pretty dang good I'm pretty pretty happy about that being able to uh, use the mill to turn um, in the upcoming future we will try to get something sorted out as far as using uh, cam CAD software to try to do some complex geometries and be able to kind of open up the shop's abilities here to you know not just be limited to a two axis CNC mill and some you know basic manual lathe turning um, granted we can't really do any heavy duty machining on here I have not tried steel in this thing yet it's, like I said this is aluminum so um, I'll chuck some up and see what happens see what it looks like but anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that Well, since that sphere turning went so well with the aluminum, let's try it on some stainless steel bolt stock. Basically the same operation that we did with the aluminum. Uh, I decreased the RPM down to 900 and changed out to my favorite Iskar uh, QNMG insert. And the holder, I think it's called a PQLNMR, something like that. It's a quite the long name. Yeah, PQLNR. So we'll get the spindle going and uh, hit the go button.
That wasn't good. We lost the uh, lost the axis again. What a bummer.